Did you know members of Congress have access to privileged non-public information and there is nothing prohibiting them from profiting from that information because they are exempt from insider trading laws that would land stockbrokers in jail? This is Blaze Angolia, producer of Government Gone Wild. It is important that you watch this whole video and send it to your friends because this video is the video Congress does not want you to see. Our founding fathers never intended public servants to go to Congress for personal financial gain. Early patriots left their farms and businesses at their own personal loss. Now that is a far cry from what is happening today. As a frame of reference, let's do a financial review of this nation from the end of 04 to the end of 08. Home prices fell 14%, the Dow plummeted 19%, and the S&P 500 was crushed, down 25%. During this time when foreclosures and bankruptcies were on the rise and while many Americans like you were seeing your net worth decrease, 223 out of the 535 members of Congress seen their personal net worth increase. And if that isn't bad enough, when life savings, 401k and pensions were decimated, there were 39 Republicans and 41 Democrats whose personal net worth more than doubled. And according to our analysis of the data compiled by the nonpartisan CRP, we found a shocking trend. It is not that their net worth doubled. The story here is that it skyrocketed. These 39 Republicans who had their net worth more than double had an increase of 168%. Now for the shocking part. These 41 Democrats didn't see their net worth just double. They didn't see it triple. Their personal net worth increased a jaw-dropping 756%. How is that even remotely possible? Combined, these 80, some of them in leadership positions, have seen their personal net worth increase by an astonishing $152 million in just four years. I've heard of redistribution of wealth, but from us to politicians? The odds of hitting the jackpot and Powerball are 1 in 195 million. The odds of hitting it big in Congress are apparently better than 1 in 7. And if you thought that was bad, 11 members had increases of over 1,000% and one increase of over 13,000%. From 08 to 09, this trend continued for these elite 80 when their net worth went up another 41%. And now their combined net worth is fast approaching a third of a billion dollars. Some of them were amassing personal fortunes in a time when our national debt exploded from 7.6 to 12.3 trillion. If these people are so good at their own finances, then why are they so bad at ours? Apparently, the only ones politicians think are too big to fail are themselves. Many politicians are too busy looking out for number one while doing number two on the rest of us. To get a breakdown, find out if your representative made this list and to see where our president comes in on this list. And yes, he is on this list. Go to governmentgonewild.org forward slash the list. And while you're there, sign up for our email updates so we can keep you informed.